The Arts and Older People programme that the Arts Council has is a crucially significant one for our time and I think for all times. We have in some strange way taken to our hearts images of aspects of life which are profoundly outdated. We see older people as storerooms of the past. Age is not a barrier. Many older people find themselves in isolation because of circumstances beyond their control. This has a really negative impact on their health and social well-being and how they can actually interact with the community they're involved in. Those who participated in the arts had less visits to their GPs and also had less involvement with social services. They developed new skills and that was important in terms of developing interpersonal skills. Within the public health agency, we developed a thematic plan for older people. We've developed a number of initiatives and we're working very closely with partners such as local government, community and voluntary sector and organisations like the Arts Council. We've a particular interest around the whole Dementia Friendly Agenda and how the role of the arts can actually play in supporting those people who suffer dementia and also their carers. Marvellous old guy died last week, uh, recently called Sir Jack Leslie, which was 90 years of age, but he took up disco dancing in his 80s and 90s. He was mad about disco dancing. And this came out in all the obituaries. He loved going to the Logan Monaghan. What Monaghan people thought, God knows. Uh, uh, this old guy comes in, yeah, yeah, we want more disco dancing. I mean, I thought it was absolutely great. How he could hear is what I want to know. Loneliness is something inside of us. We can all, at different times in our life, feel lonely. And we've all heard that adage that you can feel lonely in a crowd. People who are socially isolated are much more at risk of becoming lonely. Thinking of the Arts and Older People's programme, it's been, it's now into its seventh year. It's had 97 um, fantastic projects. People are living longer than at any time in history, and this is a real cause for, for celebration. This is a triumph in public health, it's a triumph in education, it's something that we should be celebrating. What is life without risk? One of the things that I think that the arts can actually teach healthcare is that the arts can teach us that actually surprise is good. And I have to say that in a lot of the um, wards in which I have been a dancer in residence for 17 years before um, becoming director of arts care, is that the staff always said, or families always said, when they saw their loved ones participating in an arts project, oh, I am so surprised. I am seeing my son from a different perspective. You know, I didn't know that they could do that. So what the arts do is that they actually are fabulous tools for enabling in healthcare. I think we are beginning to see a golden age for work on arts and older people. The Arts Council Northern Ireland and work in Northern Ireland really was ahead. Uh, we were the ones that came in as partners in a second phase of the work that you'd already been doing. And I really see that when I visit. The strength, the richness and the breadth of the work in Northern Ireland. Why is the work in Northern Ireland more fun?